Yes, it's got active track. Yes, it's got gimbal stabilization. Yes, it fits in your pocket. But there's one feature I didn't even think about when I bought my Osmo Pocket 3 that's changed everything. This video is not sponsored by DJI, but this channel is supported by people like you when you buy one of my digital products like my DaVinci Resolve editing ebook, links in the description. As a solo creator, filming yourself can be hard sometimes. You not only have to talk to the camera, you've got to do all of the other things too. Sound person, director, cinematographer, you name it. Let's start off not using this feature and I'm gonna grab a shot of me driving down this track. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set up the Osmo Pocket 3 on this mini tripod somewhere about here and it's pretty tricky to actually see what's on the screen because I'm using this tripod. Obviously a bigger tripod would be easier, but that's not really the feature I'm talking about in this video. So I'm gonna switch the camera around and then frame up the shot. Something like that hopefully looks good. Then I'm gonna jump back in the car and we'll get a shot of me driving down this track and see how it looks. So this is what it looks like from the driver's seat. All right, here we go. Hopefully I won't drive over the pocket three. Just gonna reverse back up now so we can go and check the footage on the pocket three. Check everything looks okay. And check this out. Let's stop. Make a life for myself. So I didn't really like how that came out. What I'm gonna do is go and put the Osmo Pocket 3 back down again. But this time I'm not gonna concern myself too much with the composition, because I'm gonna be making use of this feature that I'm talking about in this video. Let's get back in the car. As a solo creator, you also need great copyright free music. I've been using Epidemic Sound for almost five years now. I'll put a link to a free trial in the description. I'm gonna go into my phone and start up the DJI Mimo app. I'm gonna tap on device, tap connect, I'm gonna tap join, and now we've connected to the Pocket 3. We can go and start using this app. So if I wanted to using this app, I could just drag a box around my car and then start using Active Track and drive through the scene. In this case, I'm not actually going to use active track, so I'm going to tap the cross to turn that off. So I can use these on screen joysticks now to actually move the gimbal around on the Pocket 3 and get the framing that I want. If I want to, I can tap on these three dots at the bottom and change the focus mode. I'm going to change this from continuous to single shot, and then we're going to choose a focus point. So now the focus won't shift as the car drives through the scene. I can also tap these three dots at the bottom and then if I scroll down here we can turn on this overexposure alert and you can see in the clouds there we're getting a bit of zebras that's telling us that that part of the scene is overexposed and also if we tap on the three dots we can also turn on a histogram to give us another idea of the exposure and then we can remotely start recording right from the phone without even having to get out of the car and go back to the pocket three. Now we're recording I'm going to start up the car drive through the scene and we'll get the shot. By the way if you're watching this and you're not subscribed, please subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. Just gonna drive back and we're gonna review that footage. The great thing is I don't even have to get out of the car to review the footage. I'm just gonna tap the bottom right play button and then tap on this one and we'll hit play. If you're struggling to find the time to make content, then the ability to remotely control your camera makes things so much easier. Let's take a look at that shot we just filmed full resolution and with color grading. Don't forget to check out my Osmo Pocket 3 playlist. Hopefully I'll see you in the next video.